of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephetha, Ephatha, that is, be open. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. When someone is baptized, prior his baptism, during the rite, there are preparation rites, preparation rites. And after the person is baptized, right after, there are the explanatory rites. That is, those rites that explain what just happened when the person was being baptized. And one of those explanatory rites is that of Ephetha, which means be opened. And the priest would say, doing the, the sign of the cross on, of the neophyte, uh, neophyte's ear and mouth, he would say, the Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. And the people would say, Amen. We need to have our ears and mouth open to hear the word of God and to proclaim that word to others. Why? Because by listening to the word of God, we have discernment. That is, we are able to distinguish evil from good. We're able to recognize the snares of the enemy, the snares of the evil one, his temptations, his lies. That's what Eva needed, discernment. Discernment to, so as not to fall into the trap of the evil one, so as not to fall into the lies of Satan. We have to listen to the word of God so we can in, uh, grow in the knowledge of his will, in the knowledge of the truth. Only that way we're going to be able to recognize what comes from God and what comes from Satan or from evil spirits. And at the same time, we need the courage to speak the word of God to others. So let us ask the Lord Jesus to open our ears, to open our ears. Many times what prevents us from listening to his word is our pride, is our pride. And what prevents us from speaking the word of God is our fear. So we need uh, humility, humility and um, courage from the Lord in order to become a witness to the truth, a witness to his mercy, to his salvation in our lives. Let us pray in silence. <clears throat> 